we certainly you know, approached the outdoor season where you know, we knew we had a, a talented team and we wanted to give them uh, you know, some exposure and some you know, experience competing against some of the nation's best. And so we looked at our schedule going out to the Texas Relays, the Stanford Invitational, the Florida Relays, Mount Sac. Uh, we had a, a number of real big time opportunities for our student athletes and we wouldn't be able to do that without the support of the administration, the support of our alumni base. Um, so we feel very fortunate that we're in that sort of position and we want to just continue to build on, on the rich tradition of success here at Harvard. But that's such a, an amazing event, uh, the history with HYOC dating back to before the modern day Olympics, you know, the 1890s. Um, and to be a part of that tradition, to be able to host it uh, here at McCurdy Track was, was really special and a, and a great honor. And uh, you know, we're looking forward to two years from now being able to go over there and uh, hopefully be able to defend uh, the, you know, the trophies and keep them here on the, uh, this side of the Atlantic. On the women's side, I feel like we had almost just as good a meet as, as we did indoors. You know, to finish third to two very, very strong teams, we were two points behind Columbia and Cornell had a heck of a meet, so you gotta kind of tip your hat to them. Um, men were a little bit disappointing, some, some key injuries uh, kind of, you know, really put us in a position where we weren't quite at, at, at full strength, but still, we're, we're right there in the mix, you know, I feel like um, both programs have, have definitely come so far. Um, but, you know, just overall, I feel really good about, you know, how the, these student athletes competed and, you know, they, they really laid it all out there. Those that we had going out there to, to Princeton, you know, really performed well and uh, um, a lot to build off of. To be competitive these days in, at the Ivy League level, you have to have a lot of kids that are able to compete at the NCAA first round level. And so um, I think it goes part and parcel with, you know, what we're trying to build here team-wise as well as individual-wise. We're committed to having a complete track and field uh, team and we want to be competitive across the board all the different events and uh, i feel very fortunate we've got a tremendous coaching staff some unbelievable talent and uh, you know their hard work and their uh, commitment to you know, what we're trying to achieve here as a team you know the, the vision for the program is really uh, through their hard work each and every day so um, i feel, feel like we've got a real special group here